sure uh, more twists are coming. Look at this. Uh, we have perfect communication. <laughs> I had some roast beef some and a farted beef. cheese before I came down here. And you farted cheese? Farted <laughs> 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 goddamn it. <laughs> yep, I had some roast beef and then I farted cheese. <laughs> you just turned me on so much, Rudy. <laughs> Time. They're still playing the fucking game. Richard. Hey. I've been you know, I have something to do with like bench presses and shit, you know. I just get those That's what happens when we're drunk. Ten pounder things to work with. I got a ten pounder for you. <laughs> I was trying to find a I'd get fifty trouble. pounder. At Walmart, but the highest they had was 35. It's fucked up. Tell my buddy. I guess it's kind of random what they have. Uh, you know what is random? Mm. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know when that's going to turn out or where. You could wake up in the back of a van. There it is. <laughs> There's Richard's face. You know, once uh, they unwrap the duct tape. There's Richard's face. Oh, that was funny. Um, what was that? You were telling me uh, about, um, what's his name, Robbie or something? Some of his, his friends said they started to talk about this guy that they seen with a tattoo on his forehead and he's like, oh, that's my buddy. Yeah, nothing. that's his uncle. And then they just, like, stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's think, funny his shit. His uncle said something about somebody with a tattoo on their face. And then once Robbie said, yeah, I know him. <laughs> In the conversation, man. Uh... Yeah. That's Richard. <laughs> uh, more of a it's unfortunate if people judge people on so many things. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how long he would be able to keep a straight face and conversations with me doing that. It wasn't very long. That satisfies me. I could go longer. Uh, it's too cold to practice shot put. Richard, it's too cold for a lot of things. This yeah. is the time of year where you sit in your basement and drink. Well, when we were camping last time, and uh, what's his name? Brought the spear. Gary. Gary, yeah. Gary's cool. We ought to have him on the show sometime. Hell yeah! But, um, Not yeah, tossing that spear this. around I can want to make I one of my own. Dude, know? I can't let this air. What, did I like spears? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
They would get like a You're a fucking hypocrite. Bale of hay or something to you're fucking hypocrite. You must toss the. Uh, you're fucking. You like at. spears. Fuck you. You're a fucking <laughs> hypocrite. You fucking hypocrite. Hypocrite. Uh, Fuck you. <laughs> Turn the lights off. <laughs> See who likes spears then. Nothing. Do you have any Klondike bars? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, then again, I have a sense of teeth. <laughs> sucks. It, isn't it um, in other countries they have like free medical care? He doesn't people? know that if I actually give him a Klondike bar he owes me something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy some Klondike bars now. <laughs> give them there, buddy. Oh, you said the same thing about the tequila. <laughs> Fuck you. I didn't Richard. see Karen's boobs. Fuck you, Richard. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> Karen, it like I'm responsible uh, for Karen's boobs under tequila. <laughs> I'm only responsible for myself under tequila. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, fuck you. He agreed to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This is a bad video. When when we review this when we're sober. Yeah. We're gonna go, holy well, fuck. Well it's not half as entertaining. I think I think it depends on what I drink. You know, because when I was You're a wino those, right those, now. Yeah. And you need some whiskey. And it's not good to mix alcohols because that make, well, make me sick. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't drink very often. That's why I figured, well, we could afford, afford to, so. <laughs> <laughs> freaking Richard Alex. Mm. Just give him the ambient stare and go. <laughs> Imagine certain <laughs> things. And you're good. He's weirded out. <laughs> he'll, he'll recede from my contact. Uh, See? Right uh, there, there he went. I uh, couldn't even look at me, boy. The th thing I think is fucking strange is that, you know. Uh, this this uh, party house I used to live at. You're the orgy guy, right? Yeah. You know? Well, I ended up being the the orgy guy after a while when I eventually got my own apartment and shit. But um, I guess a lot of people were were creeped out about me. But I've seen some some shit go down. Yeah, but you know it's like <coughs> okay, and what? I'm. I'm creepy. When, yeah. Once you run around. <laughs> <sighs> Go ahead. You know what story I'm talking about. Walmart? Running around Walmart? What? Apparently there's another story. <laughs> I, I used to hang out at Myers. Okay. <laughs> at night. I'm just going to say this. Fuck me! Oh, the acid party. Yeah, the acid party where you're yeah. going at that yourself. That was a long fucking time ago. With a long... Yeah. No, it was like like that long that's, or that's something. That's it? Yeah, it was a... Uh, Hypocrite. It was a, a red gel penis, you know. I used to have it attached to my... Wall, wall wider you know? that's right but it was like between the hallway and the kitchen <laughs> that's right <laughs> I remember that story yep. oh good times with this guy um 
Yeah, the landlady wanted to put a ticket booth outside my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> she used to get all kinds of stories from everybody else who lived in the apartment complex because they'd be like look peeking in through my windows and shit or like listening at the door, you know. I caught a I caught a few people doing that because I sometimes I would I would leave my my apartment and go down the hall to have a cigarette because some of my guests you know they they didn't smoke you know they didn't want to be smoked out you know and I wanted them there so I, just, I would go out in the hall and have a cigarette and every now and then I'd see somebody creeping down the stairs you know I lived in the basement level and, and this one woman, I, it was fucking funny. She, like, puts her hand on the door and just, like, slowly puts her ear. And then she notices me down the hall. And then she turns around and goes up the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> oh, man. That was funny shit. And I could hear the sex going on in my apartment, too. From down the hall mm. so I knew what she was listening to <laughs> that whole bottle of plum wine is empty yep well I, I did give some to, to Kim and you had a few swigs <sighs> so one more uh, thing to do now Know any midgets? <laughs> I was gonna turn out the lights and make out with him, <laughs> and then he bursts out with, "You know any midgets?" How insensitive! <laughs> you know, like I'm not supposed to feel self-conscious about that. You know any midgets? He's laughing. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm joking again. Oh. I think it would be interesting to meet a, a midget porn star. See whose nipples get long tonight. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, I've seen some good ones, you know. It's like... Hmm. <laughs> so that's the Iron Cheek in his 40s. Look <laughs> at <laughs> those moves. Tell me. He is in his 40s. I'm 37, I ain't in the 40s yet. <laughs> I'm talking about you, I'm talking about the Iron Cheek, but it's like 80 oh. something now. Yeah. Oh, well, he was oh, old man. then. Fuck too. you. You know? Uh, I, I did have a, a favorite when uh, I used to watch wrestling. I don't watch it anymore, but when I was a kid, I used to watch it. Oh yeah! I really liked the um, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. He was cool. I'm sucking on his nipples, and he's still talking about wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I never did like Hulk Hogan though, because he reminded me of my stepdad, and I wanted him dead. Really well, I always loved Hulk Hogan. I got his shoes when they were Velcro and they strapped on my feet. Uh, no, Are you if Hulk Hogan tried to give me anything, I just set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah, if I ever met Hulk Hogan, <laughs> I'd probably be at least intimidated. Especially at six uh, years old. Um, oh, did I didn't know much about STDs when with? I was a kid. So. That was weird. What show? Something about tossing midgets? No, that uh, reality TV show that Hulk Hogan came out with involved his family and shit. Yeah, it was. It was. He weren't missing anything. <laughs> Well, the to us, the screen went black, but that means they there's can even see. less light. 
Just yeah. that little bit of light there. Yeah. <laughs> Took the night vision. Yeah. Guess what I'm doing? You're playing with your God, you're not supposed to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> They're supposed to guess. Uh, not you, like, look over while you're playing with your nipples. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what kind of reconnaissance is that? <laughs> Break on nine. <laughs> we found the enemy. <laughs> They're playing the with their nipples. <laughs> playing, playing with their nipples. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Break on nine. Because we're truckers and we're on the freeway. Break on nine. Why? <laughs> it's like being Korean when you're trying to be Somalian. <laughs> or. It's really <laughs> some shit. Oh shit. Well, it's important to have friends of, of many nationalities and lifestyles. It's important, you know, to, to get to know a, a wide variety of different people. Because then that helps you grow and develop as a That's part of why we're here. No light shiny. No <laughs> light shiny. <laughs> I can't even see the. And, uh, oh. Hey. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> can't even see what the. Anyone watching this episode will probably just end up clicking it off. <laughs> <laughs> I would have. Long time ago. <laughs> well, this is more oh, did you hear about that sick bitch who, like, um, dr drugged her husband or boyfriend or whatever and, like, um, tied him down and cut off his penis and put it in a meat grinder or something? <laughs> That's just fucked up. Yeah, man. that was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a hint? Are you trying to. No, Karen told us about it when we were upstairs. So she's trying to warn you? Something somebody posted on Facebook, I think. Or something. She was checking the news. Something I don't know. She just turns say, "Just my man, I'm chop off the penis." <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for me. <laughs> anyway, yeah. This is the most despicable show we've <laughs> had. <laughs> So far, <laughs> we're drunk. We got nothing to talk about. And the lights are off, and we're half naked. <laughs> You'd imagine it would be like woohoo, but no. No, I had to drink wine this time, motherfucker. Charlie's <laughs> all passed out up there. Karen's. Yeah. No. Well, we'll have to. Um, you know, think about a couple of different topics or something for for tomorrow, maybe. You know, if you if you want to do another show tomorrow before we leave, but I because um Shelly's gonna go with Karen to the uh, art gallery. So they're tomorrow. leaving first thing tomorrow. I don't know what time. First thing, first light tomorrow, they're gone. We only get to go pee before they're gone. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. Some part. I don't know. Are we still recording? Yeah. Damn. My, my eyes keep drying out as, yeah. as I look. It's weird.
<laughs> Richard. Yeah. This. You can't. Fuck you. <laughs> Should have had whiskey. Uh, Show would be a lot more entertaining. Yeah. Especially in the dark, you don't know what we're doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop laughing while I make it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then he continues fucking laughing. So much for listening, fucking Richard. <laughs> Oh shit. Uh, barbecue chicken wings. Uh, uh, I'm fucking hungry, but I'm also tired too. Keep going. I like White Castle burgers. Keep going. Hmm? It's empty. <laughs> uh, it's, we, no, can't back even, east. we can't even joke with him out there. Yeah. It's so horrible. That's not right. Yeah. We have to end this. We have to terminate transmission. We have to say, guys, go to bed. I've already told you it's fucking one in the morning. Yeah. Well, there's always tomorrow. God damn it. We can kick the kids outside and go play out in the snow. We can kick the kids in the head <laughs> outside tomorrow. Yeah. That's what you say, right? <laughs> yeah. With a boot shaped snowball. <laughs> These rolls. <laughs> Look at that. And then look at you with your strength. <laughs> you can look at Puppet. Go ahead. Uh, you can look at Puppet as he wants. But as soon as you play with his nipples, <laughs> game over. Uh. <laughs> I don't even want to designate this as a show. This is more like a, a morality devastation. Or of some sort. I'm not, I'm not sure that's the right words for it. Uh, Love you, Richard. Love you too, man. Thank you for... We're in the basement and we're drunk. Yep. And everyone's asleep except the kids. Mm -hmm. And we're bored in front of a webcam with our shirts off. So you'd be damn well glad this is all you had to see. Because <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, because we could have been. So. I mean, not like, I'm not trying, I'm just saying. Well, in warmer weather, worse. we can uh, get drunk off of some, some whiskey and find us some swings. And go naked. <laughs> Can't post that. Not up. public swings. We make swings in the wild with vines and paddles. <laughs> I only oh, said that man. for that reaction. So you know. Yep, there's plenty of strange stuff to come. Every suggestion I give, it's in the waters. Pulling my chain again. God damn it. <laughs> See, it sucks because we're drunk, but not everyone else is. Yeah. <sighs> we, we delete this, won't we? <sighs> well, we should at least watch it tomorrow or something. Then. When we're sober? Yep. Four and a half inches. Uh, we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> now he tells me. <laughs>
<laughs> and that's exactly how much I drink of that bottle right there over there. Four and a half inches in the bottle. That's how much it is. He's taking his shirt off. He's disrobing. <sighs> You gonna take a swig? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the cap off. Oh man, that's what we're laughing about. No, but seriously, guys. We're fucking drunk. And the only reason. Reason? <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why this is even airy because we have a damn good quality editor that I've already familiarized with myself with. Oh, we need already to edit yeah. oh, uh, Fuck that shit. The fact that I said fuck that shit says we need to air. <laughs> It'll air. It'll air after I'm editing. <laughs> oh, it's a call from Makra. Fuck you. I'm... I haven't even fucked <laughs> you. You haven't, you haven't seen Later it yet. when the lights are off. They share my glass. They share. They share my glass. She told me I got puppy. I wonder why. No, but you seriously. I wonder if we should even show up on this thing. I doubt it. Uh, they can see my... You guys are leaning for this one. What's up with that? Here. Yeah. I think I just officially creeped out Richard again. See, if it wasn't so cold and, he, and dark out, he's one of those. We go over to the swings, drunk oh, like we fuck. did that one time. Why the fuck can't we do it now? It's too cold. Bull fucking shit. We got trench coats. And it's in the middle of the night. We have trench coats. I didn't bring my trench coat. We. If I'm saying we. There's a Wii out there that they play. <laughs> I <laughs> fuck, fuck you up. We <laughs> have trench coats. Uh, you got more than one. <laughs> hmm. Let me think. If I'm threatening your life with the word we, I might have more than one. Me. I, that, that might pertain to the. Oh, that tweed one? <laughs> or whatever it's made of. I will strap you in black leather and you won't even remember tomorrow. <laughs> what material is that? <laughs> We're recording, aren't we? Yeah. Recording. Oh, shit. <coughs> This is Richard Red Crow Dog. Okay? <laughs> the only thing he wears is black leather. So I'm going to garb him with my own hands. I was thinking it'd be cool to get. I will okay. dress you. No, I want to look online sometime and try to find this like pimp coat where it's like black leather with like Listen. red fake fur on it. Listen. He wants to skin pimps alive <laughs> and make a black uh, trench go out of the flesh. Uh, not puts the oil on not the skin or it gets the hose. <laughs> put the lotion on its skin! So forceful. Look at that. He's supporting his little body weight on this bottle. 
Like, that's not a personal problem already. <laughs> and then I yank it away. <laughs> Typical Nick. Right? Um, uh, the women beckon for us. Ah, uh, is that what I the think call I'm, was? I, I'll be honest with you, last time I left that room, Come close to it. Karen's boobs were showing. Mm. Not like come close to it. Like there's like several meanings with that phrase, but I mean like. So <sighs> the women no no no. I've already no. Already <laughs> fucked it up. I've already fucked it up because it's already worse than it could be. Um, I mean like to the timing. The timing. Timing. When I left the room. <laughs> before I left the room. So come close to the time that I left the room. I have already fucked up. I don't know. All I know is you got a phone call. And then sometime after... You said, well, the women want us upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Sub up boobs. That's all he Sub heard. Sub boobs. That's boob. all he heard. And you know what? I hope to God this does not air. <laughs> Why not? I, in like partial little segments, it will be part of the show where people get to go, okay, I saw this and this and this and this episode, which all four each had a small clip of the same clip at the very end. So you, if you stay tuned to the episodes, you get to follow along with a clip that is, if you will, You guys could hear it, but I went <laughs> at the same time. The furnace uh, turned on, like literally. So I'm getting, okay, you know what, Richard? <laughs> we are back in the by the woman. Ah, he says as he fixes <laughs> his hair. Ah, yeah. Ah, I don't want to ah. cover up my tattoo. I try to keep it expo you know, exposed all the time. <laughs> He's all trying to sound like you're small.
Mm. <laughs> I don't, quite frankly, I don't know who that was more. I, I was trying to weird him out, but I think I was weirded out by myself the most. For sure, because you're like, whatever, it's another one. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, we'll be back. Yeah, I hope this. I'm gonna delete this. I'm good. I'm gonna try. So wow, look at what those knights are doing oh. to that horse. Hey, 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 Richard. I forgot to hey, take my shot. On, on camera. Okay, that horse is being brutally brutalized. <laughs> we'll just. That'll be the mystery guest. <laughs> mystery guest? Because we're kind it's of the ones guesting. Biapnin! Animation. Well, we needed to do a rip, ripped show. Yes, because we're ripped. I'm busted. Ripped. And ripped. <laughs> okay, okay, so. Uh, uh, hmm? Yeah. And then? <laughs> I. This is a plum wine. I really like strawberry wine, but that's hard to find. This you know is somebody who makes it. This is the uh, inebriated Red Crow. Raven show. For shits and giggles. And for shits and giggles and whatnot. Um, don't really drink very often. <laughs> we have no specific topic for right now. Um, I think I felt out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just take your shirt off. <laughs> so I don't this feel is awkward a cool anymore. Shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was I just uh, give him one look and he knows <laughs> it's time to take it off. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's see if I can do this. Can you show the shirt? Oh, the Iron Sheik, of course. How could I forget? Oh, I was born in 1986. That's how I could forget. No, when I was living in the I group forgot. home in Ann Arbor, uh, a lot of us would wear our shirts on our heads in the summertime. Got the drink, then! I'm pasty, can't talk to that thing. A niche. Hey, you want to be a guest? No. <laughs> what? Why are you? Because Shelly needs to separate. We need to come to a commercial break. She oh. was going to come down, but I said no. I don't think it's a good idea. No, I think it's a good idea. Oh my God, Shelly? that sounded so sadistic. Do you want Shelly to come down? Oh, we can't smoke down here anyways. No. Um, I'll just meet her in the We're just they desperate come, for people that are willing guests. Cigarettes? I mean, is it, are you racist? <laughs> because white drinking meat people? Drinking meat people? Okay, this is... Oh my god, okay, this is a drunk person from... Uh, a drunk Polak from New Jersey. <laughs> you need Elmo on, on to come down here. She's like... You racist against me drinking people? And then what else did you say? Something about yeah. someone in her, pajamas. Her Elmo pants. Yeah, coming down here. You ashamed pants. of her Elmo pants? I told her not Go to come on. down here. Where is your cookie been monster? An embarrassment. No, I got. I you got, don't have no cookie I got monster. Spider oh, okay. But Shelly asked for cigarettes. Say. <laughs> okay. Do you have a cigarette? We're coming to a yeah, commercial I, break. Okay. Um, you calm down. Yeah, I should stop the video. You, hey, you calm down. Is hey, there's water? Kim. Kim's that, hand. Is that water? <laughs> Special Kim, guest tonight. Kim, not Batcho. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>
It's no, I don't want to be in your freaky shit. <laughs> as long as I get what's in her hand, I'm fine. It works. Your freaky shit. That's why she calls it, even though it's not recording. I'm still talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. How we do get you know to it's go. not recording? <laughs> How do you know it's not recording? It is recording. I don't know. Do you like the laptop in the way like that? Gives it a different angle. And we can have our little mascot up there. <laughs> he looks bigger than what he actually is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got my chest! I'm not holding anything. <laughs> Damn, I just broke my chair. Yeah. And, and for oh, those of you that didn't watch the, the other show that had, you know, the cup in it. I got <laughs> you! This is my cup. <laughs> when I come over here. <laughs> It's just harmless like, fun. Harmless, harmless fun to you. Mm. Yeah, this chair is like totally black strong. coffee. Damn it. Get in that hole. <laughs> <laughs> Says the finished carpenter. <laughs> as he. Oh, mm, man. Never mind. Uh, so. We should be. It's recording, right? Yeah, it's recording. We should have. Uh, Surprise guest on the show here soon. I say surprise, so it'll be a surprise, motherfuckers. Oh. That was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, the Pilates in my back are just. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna take my jacket off. Of course you are. Why am I not naked? I don't understand. See the rabbit on his back? It's hairy. <laughs> According to the kids. Don't <laughs> ah, I should have said that. <laughs> uh, I'm double fisting my tea and my coffee. And he's doing the dance. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to do that. Because he said he was going to do it. He's a man of his word. Mmm, <laughs> coffee. Uh, tea. Wow. That kind of looks like the Iron Sheik. Remember him? No, I don't. I was born in 86. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, <laughs> and they say I am my show off. Hold on. Move this a little more of me. Okay, there we go. Hey. Oh, there's lots of me. I'm not good at math. Oh, we were going to give a shout out to Frula. Oh, yeah. Frula! Frula! There's our shout out to Flula. <laughs> and uh, you be, uh, you're always welcome to our show. <laughs> Mind you, I'm welcoming you to the deepest depths of my home. <laughs> Quite literally. The man cave. Uh, so, if you're willing to come in our man cave and make a video with us. Oh, or we can pick another location. You know, more space. There's there's just enough room in this room for us, really. Yeah. Dave, I don't know where Dave is going to have a hard time. I mean... 
or our surprise. Yeah, God, our we surprise. suck at this. <laughs> Oh. Note to self, never figure out who the surprise guest is first, because I am not able to actually <laughs> explain it all, I guess. As long as don't tell anything what it is. Here, it's going on YouTube. Yep. Okay. <coughs> when he coughs, it tickles. <laughs> Which reminds me. Don't do drugs. <laughs> so we are talking, uh... Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> politics has been taken care of. We're back from the, uh... commercial break, and... Uh, we should cover, um... What topic should we cover now? Mm. <laughs> I mean... How it's illegal to be poor. Well, there's But we that. are. <laughs> We're <laughs> rebels! Because yep. we can't afford shit. Yeah. Uh, well, um, well, if we were homeless, then we'd have a lot of problems with the law. Yeah. Kicking us off of benches and yeah, shit. It's like, right about... Right, it's no, it's, it's illegal sleep. to be homeless. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you try to... Been there, done that. If you can... <sighs> afford a place to stay or whatever. It's called squatting. I'm trying to survive on the streets. And there's dumpster diving, that's illegal. And I liked what you pointed out to me earlier about um, the differences between being homeless here in the U.S. as opposed to being homeless in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's that hospitality over there. Um, all the poverty there. I mean, there is poverty. Look at Dublin. Um, not like how it was, I guess. Here, you see a guy begging for money and you just step over him. He's dying. Maybe calling an ambulance. He ain't going to be able to afford it anyway. That's even if, I mean, mm -hmm. I've been there. People ignoring us, not reading the sign, trying not to hear you mm -hmm. or acknowledge you when yeah. you're telling them you're out of the gas, you need food money to get from, you need money from point A to point B. If you want me out of your town, give me some money, I'll leave. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I don't. Sorry. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What they when did, I <laughs> <laughs> what they did in Sylvania, Ohio, was um, they they made it impossible for anybody who's poor or homeless to to be anywhere around there because they they didn't want to see the homeless, so they put all the soup kitchens and everything in Toledo, Ohio. So that they wouldn't have to look at the homeless. And that's another thing um, from what happened locally here uh, when they're doing the farmer's market, uh, some sort. I could have that wrong with farmer's market specifically, but uh, it was some agriculture that was being grown at home, and it was not USDA choice. It was not certified by the USDA. So they forced, by law... <laughs> For the growers of all those organic foods, and we're talking like they weren't. I mean, I you could see where if they were giving it away, and like the state's not getting money off it, blah blah blah. Mm. But they were just selling it, just like how farmers market would, you know. But they forced them pour bleach all over. Them. Yeah. So let's say okay, we're trying to sell it, and they say we can't sell it. Now it's illegal to consume <laughs> free food. Yeah, then they pour, pour bleach all over it. Yeah, they force them to pour bleach. They can't even give it away. We're being told it's legal. <laughs> to give food away. Okay, now, guy walks up to you. Don't know him. Say you're in like Henderson, Nevada. It's dark. 
come up to the street light. You're sitting there waiting for your bus. Some guy comes out of the shadows, pulls an apple out of a trench. Goes, hey, you want an apple? <laughs> no! I would not eat that apple. <laughs> if I look as I'm driving past the farm, pull into <laughs> the parking lot, and I go to buy food that's on the table that I see growing right over there, and they go, oh, actually, you know, like, just go ahead. Yeah, I would accept that food. If... If... When we were in shelters, you're in there, we would get, oh, I can't stand canned carrots now. <laughs> Corn, canned corn, that's all you get is cream corn, canned carrots, like some macaroni salad, and chicken or something. You're forced to eat that because you can't afford it. God, I wish I had some homegrown food then, you know? Mm -hmm. Even though, I mean, I was a kid and might say, oh, I don't want to eat my vegetables. <laughs> Not in that condition. I'd be like, have to eat canned anything. <laughs> That's awesome! Yep. I like the taste of food and not aluminum. So yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, God bless America. <laughs> I'm worries off my mind as to all those homeless people get free food. I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight knowing they're eating. <laughs> it's despicable. What's wrong with that nation? Uh, Some nation. Yeah, Jamie Farr <coughs> he played on MASH. Um, I lived across the street from the uh, park that he, he, he bought. And uh, they had a soup kitchen there. <coughs> and I was living by myself and this struggling, you know, to keep food in my cupboards, and, uh, so that soup kitchen came in handy, except, uh, on the weekends, they weren't serving shit, and, and on the weekdays, it was just once a day, once a day, you got one meal a day from that place, <sighs> lost a lot of fucking weight when I was living there, man, sad, man. Have to go to crash parties just to get some free food. You know? Now I remember when I was homeschooled, I read about this certain type of government mm -hmm. that uh, pretty much controlled everything the people could do. Mm -hmm. um, they're called Nazis, <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, I remember a lot of that stuff. Uh, scary how similar. I mean. Well, the Pope, um, when he was a teenager, he, he joined the Hitler Youth Program. <laughs> when New York City police are macing old ladies in the face with a mm -hmm. fire hydrant mm, device that sprays mace. Like, not the s but the <laughs> takes three men to hold it. Mm -hmm. A whole crowd. Might as well throw some tear gas in there. Yeah. You need to save a lot more money. One thing tear gas versus all that mace. They're idiots. What's wrong with our government? They're using up all that mace when they could just use tear gas. <coughs> Hell, throw some mustard gas in there. Get it over with. Yeah. We don't have Saddam anymore. We need somebody to take this place. And the fact that the, the Pope is known, it's its known that he, he joined the Hitler Youth Program. its You don't even have to wonder what kind of people are running the Vatican, you know? Not rich people. And I'm sure everybody's heard about, you know, priests molesting little boys and shit. Yeah, that's... It's been the topic it's for years. insane. 
And that's just when it came out of the dark, not to mention how many centuries before. How long has the church been around? Well, and every time it was called to the attention of the church, they would just move that priest to another location and shut the kids up. You know? It's yeah, fucking and if bullshit. They, it's like they're encouraging it. You know? It's like, oh, it's okay if you, if you molest that child, you know, as long as they don't say anything. You know, and if they do, we'll just move you to another one. Oh, my wow, God. Wow, it went black for him. What the hell happened? You don't have a screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a screensaver. Um, I, I think it's recording. What the fuck? Yeah, it's recording. It's recording? Okay. <laughs> Coming to our 15... Oh, yep. Yeah. We're at a 15-minute mark. Hey, that's our 15-minute mark. Every 15 minutes, the screen goes black. Oh, I have to keep that in mind. Huh. Yeah. So. <sighs> that's our uh, one se segment of the show. <laughs> Shit. It's gonna get a whole lot better when when we get drunker. Yeah. Drunk. Well, I haven't really had that much to drink. Me neither. Yeah, we'll we'll have to do a show when we're just fucking plowed because that's entertainment right there. <laughs> But I, I'd like to do it at an outdoor location, though. <laughs> Just because that would be even more funny. We plan to get so we can be on mobile. the swings and yep. doing a rant, you know. We can do all kinds that, of stuff. Thing. We're going to go crazy, and I would like, once we get a YouTube <laughs> channel going on. Well, I got channel. a YouTube channel. I'll be posting this on there too. We'll ask for uh, questions, comments, topics to talk about, suggestions for the show, all kinds of cool and crazy stuff. And shout outs to people. God, it always goes past 15 minutes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah. But, uh, it's the. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is. Red Crow Dawn. And this is. Skyfire. And this is the. Random Show. <laughs> 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 the random show. <laughs> Bye! -oo! And that's a wrap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>